Hello and welcome to a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade your projects from Final Cut Pro 10.0 to 10.0.1. No, to 10.1. Yeah, let's just get into it. I've got a computer here in front of me running Final Cut Pro 10.0.9. So what I want to do is show you what I've got on this screen. If I just start videoing here you can see that I've got two different projects and two events. The reflection project relates to the reflection event and the audition project relates to the Dan's DVD event. It's very simple. Now if we were to upgrade this computer to Final Cut Pro 10.1 and let the automated upgrading system do its thing, what you would get is a single library and within that library you would get both these projects and both these events. This is all well and good, however what, what you want to get into a habit of doing is making sure that each library corresponds to the project that you're working on. So for instance, I'm working on Audition, Audition is its own library. So what we're going to take a look at is Philip Hodgett's method, uh, which he detailed on the internet, you can um, find the link in the description to that using his software event manager X to make sure that each of your corresponding events and projects become their own independent libraries so without further ado let's go and hop onto the computer running Final Cut Pro 10.1 and we can get a look at how to upgrade using event manager X so on this computer here you can see that we've got Event Manager X here, uh, there'll be a link to download this free application in the description. And here are the two different events and here are the two different projects we're working at. You can see we've got the audition project and here is the um, event that corresponds to that. And then you've got the two different reflection pro uh, project and event. Let's focus first of all on reflection. So let's say we want reflection spoof and the reflection corresponding project to be its own library. We don't want any of this audition and Dan's DVD nonsense in there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and press and uncheck these. This is basically going to use Event Manager X's system to move these events and projects that we unticked into hidden folders. They're not actually hidden folders, they're just folders that have the word hidden on them basically so Final Cut doesn't see them. And then if we make sure we've also got Reopen Final Cut Pro 10 unchecked and then press Move Events and Projects. Now we can go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro 10.1. So if this is your first time loading up Final Cut Pro 10.1, it's going to give you the option to upgrade your projects and your events and put them into libraries. So what you want to do is ignore that for the time being, just close out of that and then it will create you just an untitled library by default. And when you're ready to select which projects you want to upgrade, you can go into File and choose Update Projects and Events. This is going to give you a brief rundown. It says in Final Cut Pro 10.1 and later, projects and events are contained in a library. Click Update All to create a new library for the projects and events on each connected hard disk, or click Locate manually to create a library for specific hard disk folder or sound locations, i.e. do you want a master library for all your drives media or do you want individual libraries for each of your drives? We want to go even further, we want individual libraries for individual projects that we're working on, i.e. this reflection project. So what we want to do is go ahead and press update all. The reason we can do this is because we used Event Manager X to uncheck everything else. You can see there's nothing else checked. These media extension drives are non-existent. They're, they're read it out. So we can just go ahead and press update all. Do you want to move the old events and projects to the trash? This is up to you. Are you going to be opening these on a system running an old version of Final Cut? For me, I'm not. So I would move them to the trash, but what I would advise if you there is a possibility you're going to need to archive this is to press save and then save them onto an archive drive. So now you can see there's a new library that's called Macintosh Events and Projects or Projects and Events. 
we can rename this now if we press enter now we can call this reflection you can see there's now an updated projects event and there's also the event that we had as well we can just rename this projects because we know that it corresponds to the library that we're working with which is the reflection library okay so we've now got reflection inside of Final Cut Pro 10.1 that's updated what about we want to, if we want to do the other one now it's really straightforward again let's go into event manager again and you can see that Final Cut, like we told it to has deleted the old versions of the reflection event and projects so we can just go ahead and check in these two corresponding events and projects we can turn on reopen Final Cut Pro 10 which is basically going to relaunch it and we can move events and projects. So that's going to quit Final Cut, it's going to reopen it, and then we would just go File, Update Events and Projects, Update All, and it would update our events and projects just like it did with Reflection, ready for us to rename everything. So that's everything. That's how you update your projects individually and consolidate all your project, your um, related projects and events into the the same library so that you don't end up with one master library that's just got everything in it because then it becomes a mess and it defeats the point of the library system. So hopefully this was useful. Again, I want to give credit to Philip Hodgetts, link in the description to Event Manager X and also his tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1.